by the end of this video you're going to have your own jack socket wired into your electric guitar or your electric bass. I'm going to show you how to attach a jack socket up to these cables. I'm going to show you how to make your own back plate and I'm going to show you how to screw in screws into these holes which um, in case you don't have screws which quite fit if they're a bit too small I'm going to show you how to remedy that as well so that you can get up and going with your guitar and I'll give you a quick demo of this guitar as well at the end just to show that it all works. This is your ground, it's this one and this is your hot if you like it's this one. So what you want to do, if you if you want to, to make sure that you're happy with what you're doing, you can actually test it before doing any soldering. On this guitar, um, I got this one without any sort of output jack or any of that stuff. So I'm going to test it first, make sure that I'm absolutely happy. You can just connect it onto an existing output jack. Caveat, um, please, if you're doing this, and just be incredibly careful, you're dealing with electricity, all that good stuff. Um, so do it. If you are an adult, just be really, really careful. Um, and if you're a child, do it under the supervision of an adult, obviously. You're dealing with low currents here, so you should be fine. But having said that, um, I would advocate extreme caution um, when dealing with any kind of electricity. That out of the way, um, you've got these, and you can just test them on these two points. Um, just to make sure that you actually actually have got it the right way around. And if you have, if you put them like that, you can hear it coming out of the amp. So we know that it's working, we know that that's good. So that's basically how we want to solder it. So to make my life as easy as possible, I normally put a little bit of solder actually on these tips, first of all. That means you need less hands when you're actually doing the job at hand and you can just make do it much more easily when you're actually at the cables and the wires and the, um, the jack socket itself and you're putting it in. So I'll tend to just put a little bit on here first. Um, obviously everyone's got their own way of doing these things, um, but that's what I do. So I'll just put a whole load on. There, that's easy, done. Then you're not fighting with this when you're attaching it. You're not trying to have three hands all at once. And Always make sure you've got some sort of cover. I mean, obviously don't do this on your on your mum's or your dad's or your auntie or whoever it is. Don't do it on their table because um, you uh, you won't be that popular if you do. So that's essentially what it looks like when it's done. Those are attached. So to test it before putting it all back together, I'm going to put in the cable. Obviously be very delicate if you're going to do this. Make sure it's all working, so plug on your amp and then perfect. And a really great method if your holes are actually too small for the screws that you want to use. Um, a good solution to that is to basically get matchsticks, just push it in as much as you can and then snap it off basically and what you want to and that's it and then you can just kind of you can clean it up with like a little scalpel or something um, now what I would suggest is that you actually mark in there with a little screwdriver something like this and you get in there and you just put a little point because you will find if you just leave it flush your screw will be incredibly difficult to get in when you start trying to push it in and you've got your jack plate there and you start trying to screw it. So you want to look, make a little dentation in there, which is going to mean that when you start screwing in with your new little screw, it's going to go in much more easily. You've actually got a little guide in there for you to screw into. So in terms of making your own jack plate as well, all I've done is I've taken the lid of an old um, Nutella uh, jar. This is just simple plastic. Um, all I've done is I've cut it out um, with some scissors. It's actually, it's fairly soft plastic, but it's, it's sturdy enough to, um, to be exactly the right kind of thing for this. So um, all you need to do then is just drill the holes in here now, I say all you need to do is drill the holes. Now, you might be wondering how on earth do you get them measured up? So, the best method I've found 
was to actually use some sticky blue tack type of stuff. So this kind of thing. So what you want to do is when you're starting out and you're doing this, just take some, put it all over the back. And I have an example of a plain one. So let's take this for example. So you've got a plain one here. Now you can see what happens if I push it against this. This is just an example. So you push it against it and obviously it leaves a little indentation. So if you do that with your jack plate or your proposed jack plate, once you've got it cut out, stick it on there and hey presto, you have exactly where you need to drill. So you drill through there, bang, you've got all your holes done. Um, similar same thing for the actual hole for the jack for the um, for the jack to come through. Again, just push that against there, whoom, and hey presto, you've got your hole. So um, this is the one that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to spray this. I'm going to shape it a bit more so that it fits very nicely. This is quite a smooth surface, so just rough it up with some sandpaper like this. This is 150 grit and just wipe it all like that. Um, that will create some grooves in here, which actually will make the paint much easier to adhere to, depending on what you're using. As you can see, what I've done is I've started shaping that. I mean, that's taken me all of a few seconds to do that, really. Um, just that shaping and making that slightly round, making that slightly round, making it look nicer. I just cut this with a pair, with a pair of scissors. As I say, it's very, very easy to do. Um, and you just kind of shape it. I'll show you here. Obviously, this is going to make a little bit of a mess. But you just you can shape it just like this and start to round off those corners, and then you get to you get something which is starting to actually look like a really nice jack plate. That's what it looks like now with a little bit of shaping. The holes are exactly as they are on here, so this might look a bit weird, but um, if it does on yours, then all you need to do is make sure that it lines up with these holes. If it does, that's how the holes are. That's just what you've got to run with. That's how they were drilled. So c'est la vie. Um, this is exactly how they are on here. So that's what I've done. I've shaped that there as well, shaped it all around, uh, just with some 150 grit sandpaper. So as far as painting your jack plate, I would highly recommend doing it outside if you've got a workshop or something, do it there. Um, make sure you're painting the right side, obviously. Um, you could just stick it to some newspaper or something. That's what I'm going to do, because it just makes life a lot easier. So just stick it like that. Stick it in newspaper because obviously the it's quite light. So anything you're using, it's probably going to send it flying. So it also means that you'll be able to get the edges very easily this way because it will just hold it up. So a couple of bits of like blue tack on either side, something like that, something like that to basically just kind of keep it elevated and actually stuck to the surface you're going to paint it on. If like me, you're having to do this indoors with uh, a load of windows open, because the rain's absolutely dire um, and you can't go outside, wear something like this. Um, obviously, it goes without saying, wear a really, really good mask um, if you're going to be doing any of this with a lot and do it with lots of ventilation. So any anything that you can open, make sure you do. Three coats of paint later, here's what it looks like. It's looking really good and I might do one more coat and then we'll get it on the base. That's our nice new jack socket plate on our base. Um, this also obviously does work for electric guitar, um, exactly the same thing. <laughs> And if you like all this, please do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.